Greetings cocktail aficionados, John Moser with is the 19th edition of Cocktails Out of Quarantine. And I'm going to show you today how to make a drink called the Painkiller. This is a favorite of my friend Ron Moen. It, uh, it originates in the Caribbean, in the British Virgin Islands, at a place called the Soggy Dollar, an enterprising bartender dumped some dark rum, some fruit juice, and some cream of coconut uh, into, a, into a glass, stirred it up, poured it over, over crushed ice, and, uh, and grated some nutmeg on top, and he found out he had something really special. So, here is what you need. Oh, by the way, in the 1980s, Pusser's, which is a brand of dark rum made in, uh, in, in, the, in the Caribbean, um, actually trademarked this recipe. So I hope I'm not gonna get in trouble with the people at Pusser's. In fact, I'm not even gonna use Pusser's. But here's what you're gonna need if you wanna make the painkiller. The basis for this drink is dark rum. As I said, Pusser's has the, uh, has the trademark to it, but you don't have to use Pusser's. Appleton Estate, I find, is, uh, is very good, and it's what I happen to have on hand, so I'm using it. We're also going to have orange juice and pineapple juice, and here is cream of coconut. Now, if you watched my, uh, if you watched the video on the pina colada, I opened up a can of it, and this is what I have left, which is plenty. So you don't see the can here, but it's easy enough to find at any grocery store, cream of coconut. And then nutmeg. Oh, we're not gonna use ground nutmeg, throw that away. We're gonna use grated nutmeg. And to, in order to grate it, you're going to need a microplane grater. Okay, here's how we're gonna do it. We start with our uh, cocktail shaker with ice. We are going to begin by putting two ounces of our dark rum in there. Oh, that stuff smells so good. Four ounces of pineapple. One ounce of orange juice. and one ounce of the cream of coconut. Now, if you're doing what I did, you're using some, the one that you already opened, you really wanna, uh, wanna refrigerate this after you're done with it. But once it's been in the refrigerator for a while, it's gonna, it's gonna thicken. So you wanna give it a good stir so it's a little easier to work with. And this is gonna make measurements a bit more challenging. Well, I would call that a generous ounce, closer to an ounce and a half, but you know, making cocktails is as much art as science, so we're not gonna get hung up on that. And I'm gonna spoon that right into the shaker. Put the cap on it, shake it. Now you're gonna have to shake it extra hard, perhaps extra long, because remember that cream of coconut has gotten pretty thick. And we want it to be really well blended with the other ingredients. Now, that's a good shake. Now let's get the glass. We have here uh, a glass of crushed ice. This is what the closest I have to a hurricane glass. It's actually a beer glass, but it's about the same shape. And pour that over the top. Ooh. Beautiful yellow flavor. Just enough to bring us to the very top. And this, I mean, look, if you want to be strict, you put a pineapple wedge on there. I don't have any pineapple around, but a painkiller is not a painkiller without the grated nutmeg on top. So here's the microplane grater. Just gonna take this and rub it vigorously over the top. This is, of course, a whole nutmeg. We're only gonna get a dusting on there. Don't wanna go crazy, of course, 
with our grated nutmeg just to get an extra little taste of the islands, which of course is where nutmeg is produced, right on the top. And we finish it with a straw. Here you go, a little taste of the islands for your summer, the painkiller. Don't drink too many of these or the painkiller will become the pain causer. Oh, but what a delicious drink. So, I hope you're enjoying your day. Until next time, cheers.